right, what is going on my fishing ninjas? Welcome back to the Flow Bash channel. My name is Eric. So great to see those smiling faces right here with the deck with the mini John boat. Oh my gosh, the mini John bass boat. This has been such a fun build. I cannot wait to show you what I've got on the other side of this camera. Now in the last video where I left off, we talked about putting propulsion on this thing. Well, you guys already saw the trolling motor. I did that in my kayak. I built a little like homemade DIY trolling motor mount for the kayak. It worked okay. I moved it around a little bit and actually got it to go a lot straighter than it did in that video. But it, we had to sacrifice that because that trolling motor was for this boat all along. I just hadn't got, uh, picked out the boat yet. But now what we really want to talk about is the gasoline powered engine I've got on the back here. Now this story started almost, almost three years ago, November 26th, 2019 I picked up a motor from our buddy Scott Rose now I've had this motor for that entire time almost three years that's how long in the making this whole project has been it even longer than that I've had plans to get a John boat and build it for quite a long time but I actually filmed it when I went to go pick it up so we need to start way back in November 26 2016 we're going back in time to start this and then we're gonna launch the boat get it in the water and finally test out this engine and I want to adjust the trim to see how fast I can get this thing to go so with that being said here's me in the past man I look way different but anyways enjoy it and then we'll pick back up launching the boat and uh, finally get this thing going all right what's going on YouTube so today I gotta go pick up something that's pretty special. But before I can actually go down there and pick this thing up, I have gotta clean out this mess. Yeah, I gotta make some room back there because uh, this is gonna take up a lot of space. Well, you guys, do not do what I just did. Basically, I went and folded my seat down, except I had my thumb of my other hand. It was like this as I dropped the seat down and this plastic part, this plastic part right here came smashing down and crushed my thumb in between this little gap right here and it kind of hurts oh man it made this like the plastic made this like snapping sound and I thought I just broke my thumb in half but I didn't it hurts just to give you guys an idea of how bad I just screwed that up obviously that's the thumb I just smashed compared to a regular thumb. Dude, look at the size difference. All right, so this is basically what I got to work with. That should be plenty of room. So yeah. So I gotta put all this crap away and then uh, that's basically it. I'm gonna head down to Miami and meet up with Scott. All right, so got the car all cleaned out. It is nice and uh, spacious. I put the skateboard back in cause you know, in case something happens, at least I got some mode of transportation. And while I wait for Scott, I might as well go fishing. So I loaded back up a rod and my little bag and I'm gonna go hit up this uh, local pond. So I'm gonna drive over there and start fishing. See if I can at least catch a fish or two before I have to go drive down to Miami. These guys just ordered pizza at a public park. That's pretty cool. This actually looks pretty promising. There's a nice big pipe over there. Boat ramp that never probably gets used at all. Let's go check this out. Oh, 
Got one. Uh. Yeah, I was starting to get worried there for a second. You want to see the fish? You see the fish? Look. Look at the fish. Cool. Look. Oh, Look. she's like scared. Look at it. <gasps> you want to Look touch it? Fishy. <gasps> you want to touch the fish? Look at the fish. Look. Eee! We're going to say bye bye to the fish. And you just got that little one on the uh, the Gambler 10 inch ribbon tail. It's like old faithful. Oh, tiny. Man, he hit it like a freight train, though. Oh, he really wanted that, too. He got the front trebles. Oh. <laughs> got me. Hello? Hey, what up, man? What's up, brother? All right, dude. Just you keep me posted and uh, talk to you in a bit. All right, man. I'll see you. So as you can see, it's getting pretty dark. Um, I just spoke with Scott, as you could tell, and I'm going to head down there right now. I don't know if I'm gonna film any of this. Um, all I've got are GoPros to film with for right now. So yeah, I'm gonna drive down there right now. You will uh, see what this big surprise is uh, in just a little bit. All right, peace. All right guys, so I couldn't wait to show you. I'm like, I'm so excited about this. I hope there's enough lighting. These GoPros are absolute garbage when it's dark out. But I got it right here in the trunk. You guys gotta see this. If you guys don't know what this is, that is a 2016 Yamaha 9.9. I am so happy, you guys. This is like, you guys don't even know how happy I am right now. Like, I could not wait to show you guys. So there was like a local, there's like a parking garage next to a casino. And uh, I was hoping it would have just enough light to get this video done and show you guys the engine. But I am so excited. Like this right here is gonna open up a whole new avenue to make videos for you guys and you know just fish different places and bring you know fresh new content. Now all I gotta do is get a boat and a trailer, but that'll definitely be coming real soon. Well, here she is in the flesh in the daylight. This motor is actually pretty famous. This pushed around John B, Alex Perrick, uh, Chris Bula, a bunch of other famous Instagram people, and now it has been passed along to me. Thank you so much, Scott, for the awesome deal. And uh, let's get this baby in the water and we'll let her eat, see how fast she goes. And I'm gonna adjust the trim tab and like I said before, see how fast we can actually make this to go. If I can pick up like one or two miles an hour more than what it is at currently, I'll be really happy. I have no idea how fast she's gonna go. Probably like, I don't know, maybe 19 miles an hour. We'll see. Look at that, the deck looks awesome. The lid doesn't fly off. I don't have a hinge yet or a latch. It stays on there just fine, doesn't fly off. Got my kill switch attached to me like a goody two shoes. I know you guys like the rope and carabiner trick, right? I learned this from Tactical Bassin. You really gotta appreciate those guys, all that free knowledge that they give out. All right, we're on. No trolling motor. We already tested out the trolling motor. We know it works. All right, we are nearly there guys all right so got the kill switch let's plug her in just the camera angle just the mic uh choke warm engine here we go Whoop. oh almost one pull uh-oh I bet you she doesn't even need to be choked. It's so hot out. Excuse my mic. Let's see. Yeah, it didn't even need to be choked. All right. Give her a little bit of a high idle real quick. And there, we're ready to go. Oh yeah, that cold start idle. All right, let's see. 
All right, so the trim tab is on the second dot, so just keep that in mind. We're in gear, guys. Let's give her a little. All right, is anybody coming? No? All right. This is a really surreal moment. Is the plug in? Oh, it's in. You know, you guys have forgot the plug once in your life. What I'm thinking is I'm gonna run all the way down to the lock where one rod, one reel caught that snook. I'm gonna go all the way down there. There's a pipe that separates it. So I'm gonna go all the way down there. We've got the speedometer app going so we can keep an eye on our speed. It says we're going three miles an hour right now. Like we're maxed out at 22 sounds like the motor is pretty close to its max rpm i might actually be hitting the rev limiter so i might not even have to adjust the trim oh we just <laughs> we hit some grass i knew that was going to happen yeah, we got, oh, she's all fouled up. All right, let's see if that did it. Oops. Yeah, boat picks up on playing really nice. guys well the big camera died so we are stuck with the GoPro we got plenty of juice gonna go to the next trim and see if that gives us a couple more mile an hour all right there we go we're in the third hole Oh yeah, look at that. When she's warm, it's one pull. She gets up to speed quick, so pay attention. Yeah, no difference. All right, I'm gonna try the next tab after we go under this bridge here. not drop this so one two three let's try number four there we go no problem Scott took really good care of this motor and I intend to do the same She's real twitchy, guys. Oh, no. Nope. Nope. I don't like this. Don't like it at all. Nope. 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 We did not gain any mile an hour whatsoever. We just gained t turning ability or agility, I guess you could say. We're going back to the second tab. Second tab seemed to have been the sweet spot. So it was set up perfect from the get-go. All right, so what I'm gonna do is head down all the way to the end, come back, I'm gonna time myself and see how long it takes. What's up, fishing for snakeheads? Nice. Where'd you guys uh, drop in from? The ramp right there? Okay. Prob like honestly, like for especially for kayak, I would drop in at uh, you know where Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, Canada, secret spot for snakeheads. That's probably the best place to catch them right now. There's like it kind of opens up and there's like this island in the middle. Like fish around there, you'll definitely get into some snakes for sure. 
Yeah, no problem, guys. I appreciate that, man. Look me up on YouTube. Oh, for sure, we fit under there. Heck yeah. <laughs> oh man, anybody afraid of spiders? All right, we're turning around. We're gonna run the stopwatch. We've got some kayakers to navigate, so we gotta go slow, but so we'll subtract a minute. But here we go. Oh no. It's gonna cut down on the elapsed time. All right, coming in on our destination, we're at 13.15. So I would subtract, I don't know, 45 seconds off of that when we uh, had to drive by the kayakers and that's our lapse time. Alright, I'm not going any deeper than this guys. I can't even get out of my car. This is a really mellow ramp guys. That was not very finesse. I can kind of see the trailer, just the front landing pad, but the rear boards, I have no clue. So we just got to guess. Well, there she is in all her grit, grime, and glory. This is pretty much the final iteration of this boat for the time being. So definitely super happy. I mean, I wish I had more horsepower, but you know what? Beggars can't be choosers. So I've got two more videos coming up. I've got one on how to lock up your outboard and then some trailer upgrades, guys. You definitely wanna see it. Don't miss out on the trailer upgrades. They are huge. But in the meantime, guys, this is it. I can't wait to show you what I'm gonna be doing with this boat very, very, very soon. It involves each and every single viewer. So definitely stay tuned for that. I cannot wait. And until then, guys, my name's Eric. You're watching the Flow Bass channel. I post new videos every week, so you guys know what to do. In the meantime, make sure you bring those smiling faces in the next video. I'll see you then. Peace out.